yeah, the flight was pretty good. Uh, Seatbelt sign came on for about half an hour, so that's no good, but uh, it was only two and a half hours, so we're looking forward to getting ready. Uh, I just had a feed at the hotel, uh, jumping on the bus now. It's about two and a half, three hours uh, north to where we're going. Uh, we've got the day off tomorrow, so looking forward to doing some tourist stuff and, and seeing what's good up north. day travelling, um, you know, I think all the boys are looking forward to eating a little bit of food and get some sleep. We just got here, three hour bus ride, cheer who? <laughs> Volcanic air um, float plane, what the heck? Just here at the uh, Rotorua Lake, that's um, the Rotorua, um, what's that like, volcano eh? Uh, it's our second day here in Rotorua. Um, before we just uh, duck out and go get a coffee and just have a look around, see what's good around here, and yeah. Oh, yeah, that's one. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, we're here, well, we're here for you. Yeah, later. Just relax. Uh, I think we're going to the mud pools and for a bit of recovery. Soak in the earth. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, a bit of orange, bits of minerals. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Let's that with? Let's do it, Lewis. Do you want to fade, lad? Check, guys, you any good? He went from uh, he he went fade, he's still trying to grow up back. The airline just came back here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, so I'm, I'm going to get picked up at 11 30, uh, 11 25 or something. You want me to do the top two? Just whatever, yeah. Oh, I don't really know how to cut the top. Freak, you got you only half job. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I got you then. Yeah. It's the word, bro. <laughs> I think this represents passion, the symbol. So. so we give everybody here a chance to have a go at Maori carving as a, so they learn a little bit of the culture. I think some of the Australian boys um, showed us up a little bit. I thought Jacob Little was pretty good. Um, he was boasting that some of his ancestors might have been Māori carvesmen. So, um, no, it was pretty fun. It was pretty good. Billy Walters, he was shocking. <laughs> well, they're doing really good. I mean, I'm a bit worried, actually. Some of them might uh, take over my job. Especially this young man over here. He's really going to town. The master carver, that one. And there we go. Here's the, uh, here's my finished product. <laughs> Yeah, so today we had the honour of hosting the West Tigers to come on site and we got to show them our whenua or our land and tell them a little bit about our people, our culture and, and what we do here, right? Eh? Don't even touch rice with the water. So just remember guys, the water's got to... Took them for a quick journey through our geothermal reserve where they got to witness New Zealand's most active geothermal park and then enjoyed our world famous mud bath and spas. Refreshing. I feel like mud. <laughs> I feel good. I feel like a beautiful. Oh man, it's only natural. Oh, Feels good. Feels me. Yeah, the mud baths were really cool. Um, all, everyone got in, the coaching staff and the players. Um, just uh, enjoyed it, it was pretty funny. Because of hectic or what? Had uh, a nice warm pool. Yeah, sort of, sort of rinse off our bodies. Just that mud that we had. Water's onto their legs and their elbows and everything was sore. Uh, yeah, just sort of relaxing and just. Uh, Enjoy the view here, what we got here. Yeah. So it was pretty cool to see some of these guys reconnecting with uh, New Zealand and with Aotearoa. Like a lot of them have been here before or lived here, from here obviously, and, and um, they'd never experienced anything like this before. A lot of Kiwis are uh, here at the Tigers, so really nice getting home, um, just soaking back into our heritage. It's good to come back to the homeland here and then. Um, especially in these like areas, they're still kind of like Oh, kind of untouched, just to learn about the, um, the Māori culture and that. Really cool to see them um, yeah, enjoying it and really reacting to it. Yeah, yeah, just chilling out today. Today's, for us, I think it's more about just team bonding, hanging out with your mates and 
um, roll into captain's run tomorrow, have a short, sharp session, and then um, get ready for Sunday. Charity Golf Day. Um, the Rotary Club and the local Rotary Club throws on the charity uh, event every year and they invite us to play, so we just came out to support them. Um, two co captains, myself and Moses. And uh, they also support St. John's Ambulance. So um, last time we were here, they looked after Chris Lawrence quite a bit. And um, we were just talking about it actually. It's just actually good to give them a little bit back. So Moses has been donating a lot of cash to him today. Oh. Lucky he's got a lot of money. <laughs> his back's pretty sore, eh? I think he's, uh, his back would be pretty sore. He's carried a little bit of bit of load off the tee, but... Um, We've got some guys in our team that all five that have done much. No, we got everyone, everyone's contributed a little bit. Some more than others, but everyone's contributed in some way. Oh. Whether it may be for morale or, or the score. It's still a contribution. Ready to go up and in, up and in from there. Oh, that'll do. That'll do. Ready to go up and in, up and in from there. Through. Yeah, what do you call? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Went for that bad boy. That's drama. Massive. I'm out anyway. Hey, uh, it was a good day. We are uh, here at Rotorua Golf Club. Uh, great host uh, for this charity event, so we end up uh, seven under for the, for the day, and uh, all around pretty good, pretty good result. Um, you know, it's it's tough when you, you know, it's Ambrose, but you're doing all the work. So uh, Benji gave us a few lessons out there, which is good. He's a pretty handy golfer. He, he gets uh, he's pretty handy around the course and knows his way around. Yeah, Moses. Um, no, he had his moments. I mean, uh, yeah, he plays off 18 or something, so he doesn't play a lot. You know, he added a few good putts today and, and had some good drives. Yeah, we all end up there. Solid. Oh, shot spin. Oh, shot out. Now look, at the end of the day, golf was the winner. <laughs> yeah, it's been good coming. Um, you know, obviously this area is Bay of Plenty. I was born and raised playing um, you know, touch and rugby for for this area, Bay of Plenty. So. Um, it's only 45 minutes to my hometown, Fakatani. So my brother came today, and uh, one of my other mates who I play golf with quite a lot. So um, to spend a bit of time with them was good again, and um, I love coming home. You know, it's just something about it. Um, it's, it's just hard to explain. You just need to fill up your cup every now and again, and uh, to come back again, it's been great. Nice enough. Nice enough. Good birdie, lad. <laughs> that was good for you. Yeah. I'll let you do it. No, I'll, I'll let you do it for about 17 holes. <laughs> That's mad. Oh, well. Shut up, buddy. <laughs> We've been spending a bit of time together lately. I suppose, um, you know, the responsibility of being co-captains and um, having to look after the team is, I think it's important that we work together on a lot of things and we have quite honest conversations about uh, where we think the team's at and if there's anything we need to do. And, we don't plan who's going to say this or who's going to say that. We just, whatever comes naturally. And if you've got something to say, we just say it, so. Uh, look, it's quite a natural thing for, for both of us anyway. I think Benji was, uh, you know, really bought into that role last year as well. And, uh, you know, he's very experienced around that area. Uh, his leadership qualities are, are very known and uh, he displays them well. So we've been enjoying it and we're looking forward to starting the season now and really transferring what we've learned together and about each other onto the field. Yeah, it's, uh, I suppose having this day off today playing golf has been uh, quite relaxing. You know, we travelled all day yesterday, so we trained in the morning as well, so we need a bit of a rest today. So to come out here and just cruise and relax, it's been good for us. Uh, a couple of days out from the game now, so good time to relax. We got to sleep in this morning, uh, got to see some sights around Rotorua and, and got to spend the afternoon on the golf course and, uh, you know, got to do it with Benj. And, uh, we just, you know, we didn't really speak about footy at all, to be honest. We just, uh, it's a good time to just zone out from the game and get away from it for a little bit before waking up tomorrow with Captain's Run and uh, get a little bit, narrow our focus a little bit more tomorrow. And, uh, it's important not to play the game before you get out there, so uh, today's a good day off just to relax, get around the course and just go about life as, as you would at home. Tomorrow is the day where we really knuckle down, um, get our preparation sorted, Captain's Run, uh, prepare, ready to play and then um, you know, do the mahi on Sunday. And I know it's a trial, but we're going out there to win and put our best foot forward to get I suppose our start of our season, really. Yeah, shot out. That's us. Oh, shot yes! That's a win. Great putt, bro. Oh, get out of the way, bro. I knew that was going on, bro. That's why I gave it to him. I would never have picked it.
Yeah, today we were at Captain's Run at um, Rotorua, so it was a nice, uh, nice to get out on the field and get a little um, feel for what it's going to be like tomorrow. A lot of work in the pre-season, um, just on our, uh, I guess our contact and wrestles, so uh, I think that's going to be a big focus for us. And then obviously on in attack is just uh, completing. Uh, really thorough today, so uh, really looking forward to the game tomorrow. Obviously we've put a lot of work into it, get to this point, but uh, it's now down to uh, our game now. Yeah, no, it was good, you know, uh, it's good first uh, first hit up for some of the boys for captain's run. So, you know, a few boys are uh, first trial this week, so, um, you know, trying to work on our combinations, so it should be good. There's a few uh, a few new players, especially on the right side, obviously, uh, Luch and BJ there. Um, yeah, it'll be good to uh, get out on the field and actually get some game time together, and that's, that's where you build the relationship. That's the key for the trials and you know, how we'll bring those combinations together. But uh, look, they've been thorough to this point, so uh, obviously looking forward to the game tomorrow. David, how'd you sleep, David? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful, mate. Let me see. Where's your roomie? Good Every time on away games, um, we go for a team walk. Usually it's just uh, straight after breakfast before the boys and um, we play a couple of games, uh, usually forwards versus backs. Um, uh, usually kick tennis, so it gets pretty competitive and nah, yeah, it just takes your mind off it and helps you relax. You kind of still get nervous, especially on the day off, but um, yeah, it just kind of takes it off for a bit. Probably when you start getting on the bus, start thinking about the game more and your role and what, what you want to do and start visualising. best foot forward to be in the spot squad for being that 17 for round one. The boys are ready to play so it's good to see. Obviously we've had a big pre-season um, so now it's our opportunity to put everything we've practiced since the start of November till now um, into our first game and obviously prepare for round one so um, the boys look on today. Put a lot of work into it, get to this point but uh, it's now down to uh, our game now. Uh, they, uh, they've had a really good time here together, spending a bit of quality time away from footy, but also too very focused when we came into our meetings this morning and uh, ready to go. Just to First half was pretty tough on ourselves. Uh, we didn't get that much possession. We made a bad half of ourselves actually. So it's uh, a bit of resilience. Um, I had a lot of the ball, uh, especially in that first half. So it was um, it was good for us to be able to hold them out. Uh, it's only one try in the whole game, so uh, we can take a lot of confidence out of that. Yeah, it was, it was a good turnout. Um, it's a nice nice place to be able to come and play, and it's good that uh, they obviously wouldn't see too much rugby league. Um, throughout the years, so it's good to uh, come out here and um, yeah, the fans loved it. It's good for the fans, especially the local rugby league. You know, it's, it's, it's gone in the game, so I think that's, that's the main, uh, most important thing about it. And that will be the end of the game and it's victory for the Tigers. You know, we've built a team environment here, so we're all happy for each other and want the best for each other, so um, we're just excited to, to get to play together and, and you know, try and 
you know, win games together. That's, a, that's our main focus. We've just got to be in the grind. Um, the cycle we've been working on, um, if we complete our sets, through the rhythm of the game, you know, we'll do a final feat during, during the season. And we're always looking to improve, so um, you know, get, get that focus, uh, prepare, uh, get a good preparation and, and head into round one.